<laughs> we're, All right. We're off. Um, I would like. Uh, I would like to begin right now. Okay, I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna mute too. Me too. Welcome to Tech Talks, presented by Vision Loss Alliance of New Jersey. Tonight's topic: Fusion, created by Freedom Scientific. Fusion is the ultimate accessibility tool for individuals with any level of vision loss. Fusion provides the best of both worlds. Zoom text with its screen magnification and visual enhancements for screen viewing ease, coupled with the power and speed of JAWS for screen reading functionality. A single installer and one license gives you access to both Zoom text and JAWS individually or together when run as a combined solution called Fusion. Tonight's presentation will be hosted by Mr. Rick Fox. We welcome you back, Rick. And we look forward to hearing more about Fusion in just a moment. Also with us this evening, we have Christina Brino. Hi, everyone. And Suzanne. Hi, Before we begin, for those of you who do not know Rick, he comes to us with an extensive background and an immense knowledge in the world of technology. In the past, Rick has worked with DeWitt and was also the senior instructor at the Computer Center for Visually Impaired People at Baroque College. Today, Rick is the owner operator of his consulting firm, his consulting firm, BNF Technology. So before we begin our presentation, I would like to just review the format for the evening. So Rick will present in segments, and I will let you know when questions will be received. When asking a question, we ask that you use the raise your hand feature and you'll be called on. For those of you on your phones, the raise your hand feature is star nine, and that will raise and lower your hand. And star six will mute and unmute you, giving you the opportunity to ask your question. If you're in a computer, alt Y, raise and lower your hand. Alt A is the mute and unmute command. Using the Zoom app, the iPad, up right, select the more option on the top of the screen, flick down to raise hand. On the iPhone, this feature is located at the bottom of the screen on the right. At this time, I turn tonight's program over to Mr. Rick Fox. Thank Bye. you, Rick. I thank you, Linda, and it's good to be back. It doesn't seem like it's been 27 days or 28 days, but it has. And we can tell by the fact that the weather is turning. Um, so what is Fusion and why would you need it? So Linda has uh, explained what Fusion is. You know, it is a program that combines Zoom text and JAWS. JAWS is the market leading screen reader in the United States for people with no vision or not enough vision to do anything with. And Zoom Text is the premier screen magnification program in the United States and has been for many years. They used to be owned by different companies and they did not used to work well together. In fact, they used to crash many a computer. But um, Freedom Scientific and uh, AI Squared are now owned by the same big company and they have merged, they have allowed Zoom Text and JAWS to work together. And so instead of having to buy two programs and install two programs and have two serial numbers and two licenses, now you have one license. And if you buy them separately, if you buy them for the year or an annual license, it's um, $170 a year. And if you buy them as Fusion, which is one program, it's 160. So you save 10 bucks a year. Now, why would you get Fusion? Um, there's a couple reasons that I can think of, and maybe some of you may think of other ones. Um, if you are on that borderline where you don't have, where you have not really quite enough vision to make Zoom text efficient, um, and you have to put the magnification way up to 5x or 6x or 8x, um, then you, but you still want to see 
what you can see on the screen. Then you can have the power of JAWS, so it will speak um, a lot. And you can still have the power of magnification. Um, if you are still a candidate for Zoom text, but you know that your vision is not stable, and you, uh, your eyesight is going to decrease and you know it, then you might want to prepare by starting to learn the JAWS commands. And you might want to do it gradually so that when the time comes when you need it, you'll already know it. Um, that's another reason to have it. And another reason I can think of is if a person is deafblind um, and doesn't really hear well enough to use JAWS, but is a braille reader um, and has enough vision to use Zoom text, I know of such a person, then they can use a braille display with, with um, Fusion uh, on, um, under the auspices of JAWS and still have that magnification. So those are the reasons that I can think of. And um, I want to know before I move on, uh, if anybody has any questions about what Fusion is and why you would need it. <laughs> I hear somebody muting, unmuting. Anybody want to talk? Um, the other thing um, which is really good about Fusion is you can um, change the colors. Um, I use uh, it and have the colors inverted and that makes um, me able to see some of the letters even though I really need JAWS to talk to me. Thanks, Suzanne. This and that just goes to show that even if you have a little, little teeny bit of vision, um, it can be helpful. And it used to be that a person would have to choose between Zoom text uh, or JAWS. And if you have JAWS, you know, you don't have any, any enhancements on your magnification or your colors. So now you don't have to choose. You can have both. Um, does anybody else have any questions or comments? Do I hear somebody? Okay. So I'm going to go on now to some of the aspects of JAWS and Fusion. And to do that, I'm going to share my screen. Last time we did this, we had the gremlins um, bewitching my computer. We'll see if that happens again. Select a window or an application that you want to sh share computer sound checkbox checked. Screen. Share your entire screen. Optimize screen sharing for video clip checkbox check. Share screen button. Space. Zoom meeting. Meeting information button. Meeting control. So now you should um, be able to hear my computer. And those yes. of you who have some vision should be seeing my screen. So yes. the first thing I'm going to cover is the visual enhancements. Now, um, we only have an hour and a half. So um, I'm going to go over the ways in which you can get this sort of training uh, in order to get this done. So I'm going to go to uh, the JAWS menu because I'm going to show you uh, a, a way of getting to all the different training sites that you may want to get to from one place. So I'm going to do insert J to get to the... Now, I... Um, let me... Um, one thing I... I forgot to do, I've got JAWS running. That's one thing that I forgot to tell you, that with Fusion, you can run JAWS separately, you can run Zoom text separately, or you can run them both. And I tend to run JAWS um, by itself unless I need Fusion, and I forgot to turn Fusion on. So I'm going to unload JAWS, and I'm going to uh, do my shortcut, Control-Alt-F, to bring on Fusion, it takes uh, 10 or 15 seconds, so we'll just wait 10 or 15 seconds, and um, hopefully I won't have to ad lib and tell a joke, because you wouldn't want to hear that. <laughs> no. So we're waiting for Fusion to come on.
You might need to tell a joke, Rick. It's loading. <laughs> um, now, the reason it's so slow is that it has to run two programs, Fusion and Join. Fusion Home, Magnifier tab, Zoom Windows, Fusion Home. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, turn magnification to, uh, to one. One. So we don't have to worry about magnification. And so I'm going to do insert J. That's a JAWS command. And it brings me to the JAWS menu. JAWS context menu. Run from train menu. And I'm going to slow this speech down. Slower, 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 slower. And now I'm going to hit H for help. H, help submenu. H, command search. In and then I'm going to hit R for web resources. R, JAWS headquarters. J. And now I've got a list of web resources. And I'm going to hit T for JAWS training headquarters. T, leaving menus. Fusion home. Magnifier tab. Zoom windows. Zoom level edit spin box. One. Alt followed by M comma L. Untitled in eight more pages dash personal dash Microsoft Edge. Training dash Microsoft Edge. Training. So this is the tra JAWS training headquarters. I'll speed my speech up a little. Faster. Faster. And now um, I'm going to show you the YouTube channel for, um, for Freedom Scientific. And, and there's some very good fusion YouTubes, and we're going to actually watch one of them. So I'm going to go to my links list. Links list dialog. R. Free webinars. R. Learn more about Freedom Scientific Training YouTube channel. So that's what we've got. Freedom Scientific. And the way I did that was I did insert F7, and I did FR twice. The first one was free webinars, and the second one was Freedom Scientific Training YouTube channel. So I'm going to hit um, enter. Enter. Freedom Scientific Training dash YouTube dash Microsoft Edge. So we have the Freedom Scientific YouTube channel. Left parents. And I'm going to um, look for the Fusion videos. Uh, there's a link for Fusion videos. And that will give me all the, because there's lots of JAWS and things. And I want to go to Fusion because that's where the visual enhancements are. So I'm going to do insert F7 again. Links list dialog. Foo. Fusion and JAWS Braille Viewer Demonstration by Freedom Scientific Train. You. Fusion and JAWS Breaking News Dash New. Foo. Fusion Videos. So I did FU quickly uh, three times and I got to Fusion Videos. So I'm going to press enter. Enter. Left parent 669 right parent Fusion Videos Dash YouTube Dash Microsoft Edge. Main region. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to do a Windows up arrow here to make sure it's maximized. Windows up arrow. Now, I'm looking for, I'm going to show you the three Fusion videos that I think are relevant to teaching you how to do visual enhancements. So let's see. Wrapping to bottom, Fusion enhancements heading level three link. So Fusion enhancements is um, getting your colors correct, getting your cursor big enough so you can see it, uh, getting your mouse pointer big enough so you can see it, um, and uh, getting your focus so that you can fi figure out where your focus is. We're not going to hear that, but that's one of them. And they're really between five and ten minutes long. They're not long. So I'm going to do shift H to go to the, uh, the heading backwards. Fusion increase and decrease magnification visited heading level three link. So that's what we're going to hear, but I want to show you one more. Fusion Toolbar Heading Level 3 Link. The Fusion Toolbar and how to use it is, is how you can actually increase the magnification, do the color enhancements. Um, and it, there's one, so there's three videos, one on the toolbar, one on enhancements, and one on magnification. So I'm going to go back to magnification, and I'm going to 
hit the link and then we're going to hit play and actually listen to the whole video so you can hear the kind of tutorials you can get. Fusion increase and decrease magnification visited heading level 3 link. Enter. Main region. Fusion increase and decrease magnification freedom scientific training heading level 3 link visited. Left parent 606. Main region. So now I'm going to... Zero minutes, zero seconds of three minutes, 30... Whoops. Off. F. Alert. Press ESC to exit full screen. Decrease the magnification in fusion. Main region. Complement. In and out can be accomplished in several ways. Left parenthesis. That's perhaps the most... Entering, entering layered keys, call and scroll Arrows command. ...in the zoom level spin box, which is in the fusion Type professional question. toolbar. I'll click the up arrow. To increase zoom level. 3. 3.5. And I'll click the down arrow. 3. Decrease zoom level. But 2.75. 2.5. I can press escape to minimize the fusion toolbar and still control magnification with the keyboard without switching to the fusion interface. I'll press escape. Escape. The keyboard command to increase the zoom is caps lock up arrow. And caps lock down arrow decreases. You may also use mouse wheel scrolling by pressing the caps lock and the shift key and rolling the mouse wheel up and down. I'll press caps lock shift and I'll roll the mouse up and down now. 3.5, 3, 2.5. Zoom to 1x feature, a toggle keystroke. This is another outstanding feature. The zoom to 1x feature lets you instantly switch between magnified and 1x views without having to zoom out and zoom back one zoom level at a time. When you zoom to 1x, all the other fusion features remain active, so you can still see mouse enhancements, color enhancements, and other features even while the screen is unmagnified. To use the zoom to 1x, do one of the following. First, you can try pressing the zoom to 1x hotkey toggle keystroke, caps lock, enter. I'll press that now. One. Notice that the focus enhancement, which is a red box drawn around cell C6 in this spreadsheet, and the yellow crosshair showing the pointer enhancements are still active, even at 1x. Now I can press caps lock enter again to toggle this back to normal magnification. 2.5. As I said, this is a great feature to give you an overview. Zoom out, keep your enhancements active and get a bird's eye view of the whole screen, and then zoom back in with that toggle keystroke, zoom to 1x, caps lock enter. Alternatively, if I press caps lock control U to bring the user interface back into view, I can also click the zoom to 1x button beneath the zoom level send box. C1, zoom level edit spin box. And click it again, 2.5, to return it to normal. Enabling and disabling fusion. This is also a toggle keystroke. You can enable or disable Fusion at any time without closing the program. You can press the Fusion on and off hotkey, caps lock, control, enter, which I just did. And now that's gone out to 1x and there are no enhancements visible. I can press that again to return it to normal. Finally, in the Fusion menu, I can press Alt F to go to the Fusion menu and choose disable Fusion there. Once it's disabled, I can go back into the Fusion menu and choose Enable Fusion to do it that way as well. Now let me see if I can... Escape. Uh, On. I'm going to go back to the <clears throat> training headquarters. Left parent 606. Uh, because I'll need that... Main region. Again, you can... The videos tend to be five minutes long. Um, you can... Excuse me, sir. I don't hear any talking on the videos. Are they just visual video videos? Zoom left parent 669 off. What can be accomplished in some... Rick? Yes. Leanne so has a quick question. I don't know why. Did everybody not hear the the audio? On the I couldn't hear anything. No, that's why I was wondering if it's all visual. I'm, no, I'm confused. I, I, audio. Heard, I, heard no, I heard it. I heard I, it too. 
I just yeah. want to know how I get my Jaws guy to be in a British accent. That's what I want to know. You have to go I, to voice I, settings. I, uh -huh. I'm going I'm to get to that. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I'm going to mute. So I'm sorry that, that whoever it is, um, I don't know your name. I'm sorry you oh, couldn't. I'm Olga. I couldn't hear anything. Okay, that's strange because everybody oh. else. Um, and I turned I turned my voice up really loud. K okay. on. Oh, that is interesting. I don't know why that would be, but the computer gremlins are always at work. The spirits are always active. <laughs> can you hear um, Olga? Can you hear us talking? Yes, I hear you talking very well. Yes. All right. So maybe, so maybe um, don't mute yourself and see what happens. Yeah, I have one, myself one, six hundred six. Yeah, but and when stand, I, I'm reading and eight more pages I down. Muted myself, I didn't. I still didn't hear the videos. Hmm. That's very interesting. Mm. Training and eight yeah. more pages dash personal dash Microsoft dash training dash Microsoft. My iPhone lately, so I, I hope nothing. I hope nothing is. It wrong. is the gremlins. It's the gremlins. <laughs> it's the gremlins. <laughs> The yeah. gremlin are doing all sorts of terrible stuff. Yes, they are. So I'm going yeah. to, uh, I, now that we've done visual customization, um, and uh, now we're going to go to JAWS customization or speech customization. And um, I'm going to do the voice uh, profile. So uh, I'll show you about the British accent. Um, so let me make sure I know what... Um, Training and certification heading. Okay, so this training headquarters page, we're going to keep the way it is. And I'm going to go to the JAWS menu again. Uh, and I'm going to go to, I'm going to, I'm going to when, you, when, you get, uh, when you get Fusion or when you get JAWS, and by the way, what I didn't explain is that when you get Fusion and you start it, um, all, the, all of the speech functions are taken over by JAWS, and all of the vision functions are taken over by Zoom Text. That's how, how it works. So um, I'm going to, um, when you get the program, the first time you turn it on, it will automatically go into something called the JAWS Startup Wizard, and that helps you, helps you customize some of your speech settings, not all of them, and then I'll do the other one the other ones once we're done. So I'm going to go to, again, the JAWS menu. Yeah. JAWS context menu. Then I'm going to Run hit for H payment. for help. H. And help submenu. H. C. Command search and search. Z as in zebra for startup wizard. Z. Leaving menus. Training dash Microsoft Edge. Heading level one training and certification. JAWS Fusion startup wizard. Dialogue. Participate checkbox, not check. So this, um, we're going to probably ignore three or four of these pages in the dialogue. So I'm going to do all, this one asks me to participate in some sort of data collection. So I'm going to do Alt-N for next. Alt-N. Speech settings. This computer is very slow. Punctuation colon combo box. Most Rate colon 122, left right slider, 20%. Rate. And uh, I can up, at, up and down arrow. 19, 18, 17. So I'm going to go back to one, I'm going to go back to 19, 20. Now I'm going to tab again. Punctuation colon combo box, most three or four, all plus you. So it's how much punctuation you want yours to read, you've got most. All. All. Most. Some. Some. None. None. So if you're reading a book, you may want none. If you're doing Excel or some programming, you may want most or all. Some. So most. I'll, I'll stay, stay on most. Um, and you can also set this by application. So I'm going to tab again. Words radio button checked. So this is what you hear when you type. Um, this is the typing echo. Characters radio so button check. Characters, you choose characters. Words, words radio button checked. Characters and words radio There's button characters checked. Characters and words. So I went back to words, I hope. Characters radio button checked. 
Words radio button words. checked. To change the selection, press up or down. Go to tab. Lower the volume of other programs while John is speaking. Check. So that means that if you're getting, um, if, you play, if you're playing music, or you're listening to a podcast, or you're reading uh, your email, um, and mostly this has to do with music, and you you want to use JAWS for some other some some reason, then the other programs will volume will lower so you can hear JAWS. So I've checked that. Plus back button, Alt plus B. So now I'm going to do Alt N for next, and I'm probably going to zip through the rest of these because they're a little bit more advanced, and we don't have the time. So I'm going to do Alt N. Alt N. Common options. Alt N. Alt N. Verbosity settings. Verbosity settings. I'll stop here. Turn off menu and control help radio button checked. To change the selection, press Now this has to do with some of the uh, automatic tutorial messages that JAWS speaks. Um, announce custom messages only. Announce menu and control help radio button checked. Right. To change the section, press up. Which is announce menu and control. Uh, it also announces all the tutorial messages. I don't happen to like that. So. Turn off menu and control help radio that. button checked. Uh, Alt plus T. Stick with that, but I would recommend a beginner to stay with. Announce menu and control help. I'm going to tab. Turn off. Speak now, all radio sounds, button checked. kind of graphics that you would speak, and it's a little bit more advanced, but um, I believe that. Speak, speak menus all only radio. Default, I believe so. That's what I would recommend. Speak so all radio. Even if a graphic isn't labeled, it'll speak the gibberish so you know it's a graphic and you know that it's, it's a picture anyway. So I'm going to tab. Advanced lowest radio button checked. And this is how much JAWS speaks. And if you're a beginner, I recommend beginner. Intermediate radio. Beginner. Highest radio JAWS button checked. Alt plus alt. And then if you down arrow to intermediate. Intermediate radio. Advanced Advanced. lowest radio button so checked. Tab. All graphics so radio graphic. button checked. Okay, I'm sorry. This is the this is the graphics, um, how much graphics it will speak. And the other one was um, how many how much of the shortcut keys um, JAWS would speak in menus. And in dialog boxes. Let's go back to that. Speak yes, all radio call. button checked. Speak menus, menus only radio only. button checked. Speak dialogues only dialog radio button menus checked. And, all. and I recommend all. There's off. Off radio now, button if checked. Are, if you have enough vision so that you can see the underlying letters because that's what signifies what the shortcut keys are. Then you may want to turn this off. Um, so, but since I have no vision, I want to speak, speak all more. radio button checked. Advanced all grab less so back button all plus next. B. All in. Well, I'm John's Fusion Startup Wizard left paren not responding yeah, right paren. Working here. This is, this is usually a very quick process. Um, John's Fusion Startup Wizard left paren not responding right paren. Less back okay, button. Alt back. plus B. Output combo box. Unified English Braille grade 2. So five at five. Alt plus um, I'm going to, most people here probably don't use it. So I'm going to do Alt N. Do notifications. Alt N. Tomorrow, 7 p.m. Tomorrow lesson. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. So Duos Fusion Startup Wizard left paren not responding right paren. Braille mode combo box. Braille, so Structured. Two of three. This. Alt plus L. Cancel button. Finish button. Cancel button. Space. Training so, dash um, Microsoft Edge. That's the sort of thing that you'll have to go through. Um, and if you... If you wanted a description of any of those items, 
you would do insert F1, and wherever you are on any screen, Jaws will try to describe where you are and what you might do. So I'm on this internet page now. I'm going to do insert F1. This is a heading at level one and is used to indicate the beginning of a section or subsection of the page. When used properly, headings indicate the relationship of each section of the page to the page as a whole. Escape. Heading. Rick, can you take a question? Where did everybody go? I know, I was wondering if there was something wrong with my phone. I think we lost him. I, I, I'm, I I'm, glad you, I'm glad you say that because I thought, what's wrong with my phone? <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne has a question. Suzanne, I'm trying to acknowledge you have a question. Did you call me, Linda? No, Suzanne has a question. Hi, Misty. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll mute myself back. We we have trouble hearing Rick. I can't hear Rick at all. Everybody no, has trouble. Neither, neither can I. I, well, I, I don't think he's doing. I think he's. We're I think gonna he's take, right now. Take a little commercial break here. <laughs> well, pause well, Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jeopardy was just over. <laughs> <laughs> was it? <laughs> well, we have here in Skillman, we have Jeopardy from 7 to 7.30. Actually, that's um, New York uh, Channel 7 WABC. <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. So, yeah, we just it's finished. I think my mother is watching it in the bedroom. <laughs> Where's I like, I like yeah. Jeopardy. Oh, no, it's not. I, I like it also. But those Ethan people Holm. who don't know. Meeting controls. Right. Meeting controls. There Meeting controls. Right. Hold on. I'm sorry, what did you say? We found oh, those, people, those people don't know. Enter is a zero oh, on the left number right. pad. Dr. Bottom button. More button. Remote control. Annotate button. Pause share left. New share left. Parental. More options. Open participant. Videos. Stop video left. Audio settings button drop down. Unmute. Currently space. I, Mute I my audio left. Parental plus. Okay, uh, you are. All right, Rick. Hello, Suzanne. Rick. Suzanne has a question. Yes, Suzanne. Uh oh, is she muted? Just bear with her for a second. Did you hear my question? No. No. Oh, we can't hear um, you. Now <laughs> sorry. Uh, my question was, um, did you go on the internet to get, or were you on the JAWS interface when you were um, working on, you know, words, subjects? Because I can't, oh, no. I can't see the screen. I don't know what screen you're on. I did all the H and Z. I went to the JAWS interface. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did all the H for help and Z for starting. <clears throat> okay, thank you. And so, Rick, while well, we do have another question, I believe Matthew has a question. Hello. Yes. Matthew. How are you doing, Rick? How do you do with the answer if you have a laptop? Because I know laptops don't have the Mac pad. Um, actually, the, what you would do, uh, what I do is go to the desktop and hit J until I hear JAWS and hit enter. And it goes, it gets into the menu that way. No, I just, I don't I have a laptop. Mean, this was curious, that's all. Are you talking about, Matt, the insert key? Is that what you're talking about? Like, how do you get that? Yes, on because the, I know the insert. Caps lock. I don't have a laptop, but I'm just was curious. And you have okay, to go okay, in a laptop I know the insert, mode. Oh, I don't, I don't have a laptop, but. I know laptops, they don't have the automatic pad. Yeah, you have to use the, the caps lock acts like the insert button. Like yeah. that you would put on mm. a desktop. 
and then like um, you would have to change it in the settings to put it in laptop mode your computer okay you i don't have, have i don't have one right, okay. thank you thank you matthew okay rick all right so I'm, we're going to talk about voices now uh because there's a lot of interesting varieties of voices so i'm going to go back into the jaws interface um with insert j Jaws context menu. And now, Run from train menu. I'm oh. going to hit O for options. O. Option sub menu. O. Basics dot dot dot. B. Enter. Leaving menus. Mute. Currently unmuted. Announce menu and control help radio button. Wow. Turn off menu and control. Out. All right, hold on. Basic, Basic settings. settings. So that's good. Speak all radio button checked. Two. Turn off. Cancel button. Alt space. Mute. This is Currently a, unmuted. Go back to the Alt. desktop. See if it's better there. Windows M. Training and eight more pages. To Windows now M. I'm do desktop. J. Jaws context Offer menu. Options. Run from train menu. O. O. Option sub menu. O. B. Basic enter. Leaving menus. Basic settings dialog. Turn off menu and control. Help radio. Announce menu and control. All Escape. Right. Desktop. Full. Jaws context menu. O. Okay, Options up. Voices I, submenu. After I do insert J and O, I have a menu, the I, options menu, and I have to go down to voices. <coughs> voices so submenu. Now I'm right v. Arrow. Voice and adjustment go dot dot dot. V. Select a voice profile uh, dot dot dot. S. Add slash remove voices dot remove dot voices. dot. A. Um, this is. Uh, something that I want to show because a person wanted to know about British voices. So we're going to add, we're going to add. Select a voice add slash remove, remove voices, voices dot 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 a. Enter R. Leaving menus. Folder view list view. Team viewer checked. 35 at 41. And as I might the. Add slash remove vocalizer expressive voices. So Select the, the language um, colon. JAWS comes with the ability to install uh, something called Vocalizer Expressive Voices. And these are voices that come free with the JAWS program. So um, it says here. Select a language colon combo box, so English, to, to change the English, selection. Since that's the only language I'm fluent in at the moment. <laughs> and I'm going to tab. Premium voices colon multi select list box not selected Allison English United so States one of twenty and um, uh, once I choose a voice I can hear a sample so let's find a good British one not selected Ava English not selected Daniel English so British Daniel. play sample button P space my name is Daniel and I am a UK English voice available for use with Freedom Scientific products such as JAWS. All right, so the, uh, the, lady, who want, the lady who wanted a British voice um, has that choice. And I'm going to tab. Install selected voices and, button. Uh, I am going to hit the I for install. Enter. Selection required. You must select one or more new so voices from the list. So I'm going to go back. Left click. Not selected team viewer check 35 of 41. Task switching. Add slash remove vocalizer expressive voices. OK button. Enter. Add slash remove vocal install selected voices button. Play sample premium voices colon multi select list box. Not selected Daniel space Daniel English British. Now I can select more than one here. Um, and we're going to this is I'm going to take a chance here because the computer is pretty sluggish. But this. This should install the voice, um, and then I should be able to use it. Play sample button. Install selected voices button. Enter. So I get this, uh, the, the uh, a user account control message, which JAWS doesn't play, but I should be, I get a yes or a no, and it's asking me if I really want to make a change to my computer, and it doesn't say anything, so I'm gonna, I did shift tab, I'm gonna hit enter. I knew this would be a, a chancy process, 
because nothing is progress bar 18 percent so it's installing 38 percent 59 percent installing voices progress bar 72 percent 94 percent installing voices installing daniel progress bar 100 percent Now it's at 100%. Progress bar, 100%. But I'm waiting. Progress bar, 100%. Installing voices. Installing voices. Installation complete. Your voices have been successfully installed. Finish button. Okay, so I'm going to hit... I'm going to hit space. Space. Folder view list view. Not selected. Team viewer not checked. 35 of 41. Desktop. Folder view list view. Well, now I have, now I have Daniel. And the question is, how do I actually make him the default? So uh, we're going to go back to the JAWS menu with insert J. JAWS context menu. Run from tray menu. Actually, what I'm going to do before I do that... Escape. Leaving menus. Is I'm going to do the switch voice profile button, which is control insert S. Select a voice profile dialog. Default colon combo box. Vocalizer expressive. Five of nine. Alt oh. plus D. I'm going to hit enter here. Enter. Folder view list view. Now I'm going to change the voice from Tom to Daniel. So I'm going to do insert J. JAWS context menu. Run from tray menu. And I'm going to do option again. O. Basics dot dot dot. And I'm B. Going to down arrow to voices. Voices submenu. V. And since it's a submenu uh, I want, I'm going to right arrow. Voice adjustment dot dot dot. V. And now. Select a voice profile. Voice adjustment dot dot dot. V. Adjustment. Enter. Leaving menus. Voice adjustment dialog. Profile name colon combo box. Vocalizer expressive. So my voice, uh, my profile is correct. So I'm going to tab. Delete profile. Enable additional voice. Synthesizer language colon combo box. English dash United States left paren primary right paren. Two of 30. Now, I don't Alt plus L. English United States, do I? Um, so let's see. English dash United. Check das hit. English das hit. Portuguese dash Brazil. E. English dash United Kingdom. Selected. So that's what I want. Since if I want Daniel, I want English dash United Kingdom. Synthesizer language colon combo box. English dash United Kingdom. Seven of thirty. All set language as primary button. Now I'm not sure I want to do that um, because this is my jaws. I don't like Daniel. But speak sample button. All plus M. Adjust colon combo box. All contexts. So I want to adjust all the contexts: the jaws cursor, the PC cursor the mouse, the jaws that lives under my bed, everything. So I'm going to tab. Person colon combo box. Daniel compact dash United Kingdom. 13 of 23. So I've got Daniel. Lee compact dash Australia. 12 of 23. Aeronomic dash Australia. Daniel compact. Kate compact dash United Kingdom. 14 of 23. Uh, let's see, we'll do Kate. Oh, I, I, we, we downloaded Daniel, so we'll stick with him. Daniel compact da rate colon 122. Left, right. So there's the voice. There's the rate. Punctuation colon combo box. Most. Three. Volume colon 83. Spell rate change percent colon edit. That tells me how slow I want him to spell a word when he spells it. Uppercase pitch change percent colon edit. 50. So I just leave them the way they are. OK button. Enter. Desktop. Folder view list view. Not selected. Team viewer not checked. 35 of 41. So, um... I've now added Daniel, and interestingly enough, uh, usually when I do that, Daniel becomes the default, uh, but this time he didn't, so I'm going to unload JAWS and see what happens when I load it. Um, so I just unloaded JAWS, I'm going to give it a few seconds, and I'm going to load it. Alt Control J. Whoops. Task bar. JAWS context menu. Run from train escape. Menu bar. 
So I, I really want, to, so I'm gonna try this one more time. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So we'll do. Aldo. Whoops. Um, let's see, insert J. O. O, escape. O. Leaving menus, training and eight more pages. Task switching, meeting controls, mute. Jaws context menu, run from train menu. O, basics dot dot, voices submenu, V. Voice adjustment dot dot dot, V. Enter, leaving menus, mute, currently unmuted, Alt plus A button, voice adjustment dialog, profile name colon combo box, vocalizer expressive, delete profile, enable additional, synthesizer language colon combo box, English dash United States left paren primary right paren, 2 of 30, Alt plus A, English dash United K, E, English dash India, C, E, English dash Ireland, E, English dash Scotland, E, English dash South Africa, E, English dash United States left, E, English dash Australia. E, English dash United Kingdom. That's what we want. Synthesizer language colon combo box. Set language as primary button. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to set it as primary. That might be the thing that you have to do. Space. Speak sample button. Alt plus M. So we've done all that. M. E, speak sample. Speak sample. Adjust per rate. Punctuation. Volume. Spell rate, upper, OK button, save as dot 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 button, apply button, alt plus A, space. Profile name colon combo box, vocal, cancel button, save as dot 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 button, OK button. Well, I, I, what I did was I applied it first, and now I'm going to do OK. Enter. Mute. Currently unmuted. Alt. So now we have uh, Daniel as our British Jaws. So that's... Um, We'll keep that in case, unless I'm, people hate it, we'll keep it now that we've worked so hard to get it. So I hope that answers a, somebody's question. Does anybody else have any Thank other you. That answered my question. Thank You're you. Welcome. I'm going to try it tomorrow. Good. Uh, Chris, um, Christina, Rick, Christina has a question. Oh, good. Yeah, Rick, so when you're going to change the voice, you have to go through all the different uh, customizations then? Um, well, you just have to pick, it says, uh, which voice, which customizations do you want to do? And you have to pick all. Um, if you pick one of them, it, it will only apply to the JAWS cursor or the PC cursor. Um, and, and a lot of people like to do that. They like to have their JAWS cursor with one voice and the PC cursor with another that's very different. So some people like to mess with that and only do and only have one voice do one, uh, one custom, one of the items in the selection. So really, if you want it to do everything, then you have to, you have to select all customization, was it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And now we have a question from Matthew. Hi, quick question. Does George, do they still have like Bobby, Grandpa, Grandpa, Grandma? Yes, that's a, those are eloquence voices. Yeah. I remember it was like Bobby and Glenn. I just was curious. Yep. That's, Thank um, you. I, I'm using, that would be another voice, um, a voice profile. So I'm not going to change it, but if I do in, uh, control insert S. Select a voice profile dialog. Default colon combo box. Vocalizer expressive. Five of nine. E. Eloquence. One of nine. If I, if I picked eloquence, then I could go in and change my voice to grandpa or grandma or whatever. So you'd have to change the voice profile first. And yeah, funny thing, when I was in high school, my computer, it was funny. The one time the two voices were different time, the two voices came up, they were being used at the same time. That happens if you've got two versions of JAWS running at the same time. It's <laughs> yeah. currently unmuted. Yeah, uh, John Hess had to fix it for me. Uh, he can fix anything. Um, so yeah. I'm going to move on unless anybody else has any questions. Any other questions? Um, so this is very important uh, and very helpful. Um, I'm going to go to um, the JAWS interface again. JAWS context menu. Run from tray menu. And I'm going to do H for help. 
H, command surgeon, training, T. T for training. Enter, leaving menus. FS reader table of content. Rick, somehow you got muted. Oh, did we, we lose him again? He got, I don't know how he got muted, but I'm trying to ask him to Edit unmute. Combo. I think we have yes, I, glitching. I, I Meeting controls. Him, so. Unmute. Currently mute you, space. Mute my audio left paranoid plus A. All right, I think I'm back. Yes, you are back. Thank you. I, I apologize. Okay, um, then. A little commercial break. All of, all of the, what I, what I think what it means is if I mess with JAWS, the, the menu, I have to get out of jo out of the Zoom meeting controls to do it. Uh -huh. So um, anyway, FS Reader is the daily book player that, um, that comes with JAWS. And this training page has a book that will teach you how to use the Daisy player. And I'm going to show you that book and show you a little bit about how FS Reader works. And then I'll go through the links of the different books. So let me go back to the JAWS training page. FS Reader dash table of contents. FS Reader. So um, if I press F1, um, and this training page tells you all of this. Blank. I'll, I'll show you what, it, what I mean. Blank. Wow. FS Reader table of contents. Open. Escape. Heading level three, book one. Introduction. The JAWS basic training was completely overhauled for JAWS 2020. It has a total length of five hours and 14 minutes. When using FS Reader to listen to the narrated audio, remember that the training materials or practice exercises you are working on can remain in the foreground while keeping FS Reader in the background. So it's stealing some of my thunder. So I'm gonna press F1 and that's gonna bring up the book, how to use the FS Reader. F1. FS Reader getting started. Now, um, if I hit F6 enough times, I'll go to the tree view that has all the different headings. F6, tree view, getting started with FS Reader opened. 13 items. So there's 13 um, items in this table of contents. And if I choose one and hit enter, I'm going to go to it. So listen. Two, commonly used navigation quick keys. One, one, getting started with FS Reader opened. Two, installing FS Reader. Starting FS Reader. Closing FS Reader. So I'm going to do starting FS Reader. Starting FS Reader. And I'm going to hit enter. Enter. Starting FS Reader. There are several ways to start FS Reader and open a book. Now, um, control P starts and stops the audio and it, and it works anywhere. So if you want to take notes, you can open up a notepad file or a Word file, and you can go to Word, and Control P will not print, but it will, it will start and stop the audio. So if you hear something and you want to write it down, you just hit Control P, and you write it down. Um, the, and so this goes through step-by-step -step with demonstrations how to use this Daisy book player. I'll play it for 30 seconds. The easiest way to start FS Reader is to do one of the following. Switch to the JAWS window, insert J, Juliet. I'll press insert J now. JAWS Professional. Press Alt-H, Hotel, to open the Help menu. Alt-H, Menu. So you can see he does everything as he says it. Um, and so you can really hear how these things are done. And the other interesting and very cool thing is if I press F6, I will get to a written transcript of what he says. Now, it won't have the JAWS demo, but it has the written transcript. And the text and the audio are synchron synchronized. So I'm going to hit F6. 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 Three view. St F6. Three. 
Press enter on the second item in the help menu, training, FS reader opens, and the training materials table of contents document automatically opens. So you see you've got a transcript, and the very cool thing about this is you can, so it, and it basically the transcript is the entire book. So if I do control home, getting started with FS reader, I have the beginning of the book. And if I want to copy and paste this, I can do control A to select it, the whole book, 14305 characters up to FS reader document exclaim. And then I can do control C to copy it. And then I can go to a word file and do control V and paste it in. And now I have the entire book in case I want to refer to it later. So that's a very helpful thing. Um, and the cool thing now is if I want to get back to the table of contents, I'm going to do control J and that will get me back to the training page, uh, table of contents. Control J. Table of contents. So now I can show you the books and basically if you are serious, you can learn uh, the basics of JAWS and the basics of Windows by using these tutorials. So I'm going to do um, insert F7 to bring up my list of links. Links list dialog, links list view, one introduction and overview, one of 16, two getting started with JAWS. Not selected, three working with menus, dialog boxes, and the JAWS startup wizard. Four the JAWS user interface and utilities. Not selected, five introduction to Microsoft Windows. Six using the keyboard to read and edit text. And that's, uh, it surprises me that they wait until six, but this has all the JAWS reading commands. Six using the keyboard to read and edit text. Not selected, seven introduction to files and folders. Eight JAWS help. Not selected, nine surfs up, surfing the internet with JAWS, an introduction. So um, Surfs Up is a full-scale tutorial, a self-paced course on how to use the internet. And you can do it yourself, and it will go through simple web pages, and it will go through complicated web pages, and it's step-by-step, -step, and it costs nothing. And it will teach you how to use the internet with JAWS. Not selected. Freedom Scientific Training YouTube channel. And that's the uh, Freedom Scientific YouTube channel that I uh, was, I went to before. Not selected, free webinars training page. And that's the free webinars training page that I'm gonna go to now. Surf's up training website. Uh, that, that actually will take you directly. The other one's an introduction to Surf's up. It's really a commercial and tells you what it is, but this goes right to the Surf's up website. Not selected. Training downloads page. And this is the training downloads page. So I think what I'll do is go to the training downloads page and show you, once you've learned the basics of JAWS, the training downloads page will, will teach you how to use some of the more advanced JAWS features. And the training downloads page will allow you to install the book. Um, and it will install it, and then you can open it right from the, the page. And so if, once you've learned the basics of JAWS, you can learn all about the advanced features. But I want to go to the free webinars page because we're not uh, unlimited in time. Not selected. Surf's not selected. Free webinars training page. Enter. Free webinars training page visited link. Untitled and nine more pages dash personal dash Microsoft Edge. Free webinars dash Microsoft Edge. We'll present new product features. So uh, let me help you to, to learn what these, what kinds of items are, are taught in these free webinars. Now, um, I believe it is twice a month, the first and third week, um, they have on they have, let's see, well, we'll have JAWS read it. Because free webinar. I don't remember exactly. Free webinars heading level one. Heading level one free webinars. The Freedom Scientific Training Department holds two live training events per month. The first is a one dash hour webinar where we'll teach you the basics and even show you a few tricks to try with Fusion, JAWS, and Zoom text. Webinars are normally held on the first Thursday of the month at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. 
However, the 10th of October webinar will be on the second Thursday of October 2019. The second is a virtual classroom practice session. We'll open things up for an interactive training experience with our training team. Our virtual classroom is open on the third Thursday of the month at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Check out the schedule below and sign up for a future lesson. And so it's the first Thursday is a, a demonstration and the third Thursday is a virtual classroom where you can get in and ask questions. So um, I will go and give you a couple of examples. Upcoming training schedule heading level two, Google Docs and JAWS heading level three. That's Google Docs and JAWS for you who don't understand British. FS skill building and review, write, edit, and collaborate using Google Docs and JAWS heading level three. Google Sheets and JAWS heading level three. That's Google Sheets. FS skill building and review, Gmail and JAWS, a webmail instructional demonstration head. That's Gmail. And by the way, once these are out there, they are, uh, they, they're, they're recorded, you can, you can play them. Google Webinar Archives heading level two. So here's the archives. Skype 8 and JAWS. Skype. FS Skill Building and Google Chrome and JAWS. Google Chrome. F Microsoft Outlook with JAWS. 08. Microsoft Outlook. And these last about an hour, I guess. J FS Skill Building and Review. Microsoft Excel with JAWS Webinar. Archived Z F JAWS and Zoom. A lesson on learning. Archived 07 slash F Microsoft Excel with JAWS Webinar. Archived 06 slash 06 slash 19 heading level three. And this will t describe the course. And well, this is this is now this has already happened. But if I go if I move down, in this webinar, we'll introduce you to Excel and show you how to create and save workbooks, add and remove rows and columns in worksheets, find data, and navigate in and between multiple worksheets. No matter your skill level, we'll show you essential keyboard commands and a few tips and tricks for using JAWS with Excel. Download the MP3, MP4, or supplemental resources using the links below colon. So you see, there's a, a ton of information here. FS skill build, an overview and task dash based approach for using JAWS with PowerPoint. Archive 05 slash zero. So um, I would say to you that um, the training resources that are available with, with JAWS are overwhelming. Um, and if you really want to take them seriously, you can learn a lot um, at no cost. So let's get back to the web resources because there's a couple of other things. But before I do that, I want to um, answer any questions that you may have about this segment that I've just done. Uh, hearing none, I'll move on. Windows M, desktop. Oh, um, we back? do have one question. OK. Um, the last four digits of, I think it's, Eight three three zero one eight, and you're still muted. I think that's Joanne. Joanne, you're still muted. Do star star six. Star six. Just, there you go. Joanne. Okay. Okay. Hi. Um, I don't have chores right now, but if I want to listen to these tra uh, tutorials, what would I go under to? Um, well, actually, there is a podcast, um, and it just started, so it doesn't have all of them, but um, it has a good many, and it's called the Freedom. It's called the Freedom Scientific Training podcast and it's an iphone it's an i it's an um it's a podcast that you would get on your either android or ios device so i'll give you an example of that okay, i have a desktop but window i still um do you have an iphone no uh well yes um so let me think about this uh i'm looking to update to yes, windows 10 and that the yours. answer is these webinars are MP3 files. So the ones, once they are recorded, you can go to the website with Window Eyes and you can download the MP3 files and you can play them. Okay. I go to Free and Sci Freedom Scientific. Um, there I are, can there send, are, send her the links. Yeah, there's, <laughs> what you should do is you should go to the 
Freedom, the uh, JAWS training resources uh, page, and I believe we have a link in the notes that you can go to. Okay, thank you. And I believe that's going to be on Facebook. If of course, yes, yes. And you can Google JAWS training resources, and it will come up on in your search results list. And that's a big page, so then you need to look for the the link for uh, free webinars. Okay, thank you very much. Um, you can also go to thefreedomscientific.com and look for the training page there. It'll, it'll, it's there too. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, Joanne. Anybody so, else? I'm sorry, I, did I hear another question? Uh, I don't believe so. That, I think we're good, Rick. Thank All right, you. So, um, I, since it was brought up, I'm going to go to the Freedom Scientific Training Podcast app. Overcast. All podcasts. App button. And I'll hold the phone closer to the mic. Podcast. Freedom Scientific Training Podcast. Heading. And I'll, I'll, we'll see if we can find some of the items uh, that are listed here. And again, you would subscribe to the podcast in the normal way in your regular podcast um, app that you have. I just want to say that you can play the podcast on Alexa, the Freedom Scientific Podcast. How do you do that, Christina? What's that? How do you do that? You just ask her to pick. Um, hold on. I can demonstrate. If, I'll just ask her here if you can hear. Alexa, play Freedom Scientific Podcast. Can you hear it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now that's okay. the FS cast. That's the Look. FS cast, which is. But I think you can also do the training because I did have the training. Okay. Once. Let me let me uh, play a list of the um, uh, some of the training podcasts that you can get, and the advantage of doing it this way, either on Alexa or on your phone, is if you're new to Jaws. You can use a technology that you already know and stop it every once in a while and practice. Um, so I'm going to see about this list. Would you like to select it all, set it, exploring the Edge Chromium browser with JAWS, streamable? Is that too fast? No. Okay, so it's it that exploring the Edge Chromium browser with JAWS. Using Microsoft OneDrive with JAWS. El Braille, what it is and what it does. Answering FAQs with Ron Miller. That's L Braille. Introduction to technology for teachers and assistant technology instructors. Write, edit, and collaborate using Google Docs and JAWS. Google Docs and JAWS. Fusion, setting up your computer so it's perfect for your vision. So that's it. That's a that's a, that's a podcast. Available. That's a podcast that will combine the three different videos. Uh, they don't combine the videos actually, but they combine the subjects. So you'll learn how to use the toolbar, the screen enhancements, and magnification all in one podcast. So uh, th this is really a, a good one. Customizing voices for easy listening with Jaws or Fusion. So Streamable. For the, August 3rd. For the lady who wanted to, to customize her voice, uh, that, again, is a podcast that will cover uh, a lot more than I showed you. Um, and, um, again, you can take notes. Once you have the podcast, then you can play it over and over again. So many cursors, so little time. How to play videos on YouTube with JAWS, part three, streamable. So this is a very, this is a three-part podcast about how to play YouTube videos with JAWS. How to play videos on YouTube with JAWS, part one, introduction to Windows 10 and JAWS, June 29th. So there's a lot you can listen to uh, on this Freedom Scientific podcast. Um, so if you want to take advantage of it, uh, again, it's a, if you ha happen to know how to use your phone, you can listen to these and take notes or try practice while you're using a technology to listen that you already know. So that's, that's a really advantageous situation. So I'll show you one more thing or maybe two more. Anybody have any questions? Any questions? No. 
Okay. Thank you, everybody. Good, Rick. Um, title is Desktop One. All right, I'm going to mute my desk. I should not mute myself. Let me know if I mute myself. I'm going to go back into the JAWS interface with Insert J. And by the way, for the woman who has a window eyes, I believe that there is there is a document if you ever want to switch to JAWS on converting from JAWS to window eyes. And if you call the JAWS number 800-444-4443, they'll tell you how to get that. I didn't, didn't do that for tonight, but that's a document that's available. Um, so I'm going to do- Wait a minute, 444, four, four. oh, wait a minute. It's 800-444-443. Four, 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 yes. four, four, Four four four. Okay, bless digits three. Okay, got and it. Ask for customer service. There's a the menu, and ask okay. for customer service. Now, okay, I bought, um, I bought a version of Jaws. I was going to install it. Got sick. Never got it to install it yet. Now, this Fusion sounds like it's a better possibility. Can I just maybe update that to Fusion? Yes. Okay. They'll ask you what your what version it is, and they'll give you the lowest cost way of doing it. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, you, can, you can do an annual license, which is 160 bucks a year, and that may be the lowest cost for you. Yeah, when I got this, well, I got this last year, so I've been doing that. Talk, talk to sales. So if you have a version of JAWS, when you call that number, Ask for sales, or, yeah, they'll, or, and they'll, yeah, they'll they, they know how to do that. They can talk to you about that. Okay. Thank you, Rick. You're welcome. Any other questions? No, all quiet. We can move on. All right, so I'm going to show you a couple of other web resources. Um, and if our other instructors jump, want to jump in, please, uh, because um, even though I think I know it all. My wife tells me I don't. So if anybody um, wants to jump in, you're perfectly welcome to do so. So I'm going to do insert J. We certainly will. Use context menu. <laughs> Run from tray menu. H, help submenu. H, command search insert plus. So I did all, uh, insert J and then I did H for help. And then I'm going to do R for web resources. And it's a list of all the different web resources that Freedom Scientific thinks might be helpful to me having to do with JAWS. R. Web Resources Submenu. R. JAWS Headquarters. J. Technical Support. S. So I'm just using the down arrow key. FS Activate. A. Surfing the Internet. I. Fusion Magnification. M. Training Headquarters. T. Free Training Webinars. W. www.freedomscientific.com. FS Cast Homepage. C. So this is the FS Cast Homepage. And I'm going to go to it and show you a little bit about it, the FS casts. And again, anybody, you don't need JAWS to subscribe to this either. Enter. Leaving menus. Folder view list view. Not selected team view or not checked. 35 of 41. Untitled and 10 more pages dash personal dash Microsoft Edge. FS cast dash Freedom Scientific's official podcast Freedom Scientific. So by the way, every time I do this and go to back to the JAWS interface and open a web page, it opens another tab. So now I have 11 tabs open. Um, so I'm going to go to the heading level one and just read what yours, the, the, the FS cast is a podcast that is released once a month. And it, it's a, it's a selling tool, but it keeps you up to date on what's going on with JAWS. Um, it, every, every month they have a little JAWS demo where they demonstrate a particular v feature. They tell you what's coming up. If there are sales or reduced pricing, they tell you that. I happen to listen to it every month for that reason. So I'm going to go to the heading. FSCast-Freedom Scientific's official podcast heading level one. And I'm going to start to read. Heading level one FSCast-Freedom Scientific's official podcast heading level two. Check out our latest episode list of one items white bullet link FSCast 189. A demonstration of new features in JAWS and Fusion 2021. And David Kingsbury's new book left quote when one web browser is not enough right quote list end heading level two about FSCast. FSCast is Freedom Scientific's podcast. 
featuring news, interviews, and product demonstrations relating to Freedom Scientific products. FSCast is a great way to make the most of the products you have as well as learning about what's new and what's around the corner. Our products are all about helping people fulfill their potential comma. So uh, that's what the podcast is. And you can subscribe. You can get it via email or you can get it via RSS. And RSS, by the way, stands for Really Simple Syndication. Um, I just looked that up. Um, and there are RSS readers that will conglomerate your RSS. They're like a podcast reader. So every, every time they update it, you'll get a new a lit item in your list, like an inbox. So if I, if I do a, a JAWS find, which is insert F, and I put the word subscribe in here. JAWS find dialog. Hit enter. Subscribe. Enter. Link subscribe to this blog via RSS. So that's the RSS subscribe link. And if I hit F3. Heading level 3 subscribe to blog via email. So that's the email. So there's two ways you can subscribe. Enter your email address to subscribe to this blog and receive notifications of new posts by email. So that is the podcast. And there's also a blog you can subscribe to, um, which, is, uh, which has basically kind of advertisements uh, of either the, the, the fact that the podcast is coming out or something else is happening, and that would keep you up to date. And um, as far as I can tell, those are the major training uh, items that JAWS and Fusion have um, in the training. I'll go to the training headquarters and show you a couple more since we have some time. Um, so I'll do the, I'm going to go to the desktop. Windows M, desktop. And I'll do insert J. JAWS context menu, run from tray menu. And I'll do, uh, R, um, let's see, H for help. H, command search. And R for web resources. R, JAWS headquarters. Technical support, FS activate, surfing the internet, fusion magnet, training headquarters, free training webinar, www, FS cast, freedom scientific blog, JAWS headquarters, J freedom scientific blog, B. So let me go oh, to the blog. Right. Okay. Let me go to the blog. Enter, leaving menus, folder view list view, not selected team view and not checked, 35 of 41, untitled and 11 more pages dash personal dash Microsoft. So now I've got 12 tabs open here. Freedom scientific. Uh, and I'll go to... I'll go to a heading level one. Freedom Scientific blog visited heading level one link. News from the cutting edge of assistive technology. And I'll read a little bit of this. News from the cutting edge of assistive technology navigation region list of four it items. Let me go to the main region. Same page link expands heading level three categories. Main region. Main region article heading level two link FS cast 189. A demonstration of new features in JAWS and Fusion 2021. So 2020. I'll show you it. Freedom. I'm going to go to the combo box. Categories combo box. Select category. And it, te it gives me a way to select, to narrow my, my, my blogs. Complementary region. List. Braille. Select category. Braille. FS cast. Fusion. Information. JAWS. Low vision. Magic. So let's say I want, I want to do uh, fusion. Low vision. JAWS. Information. Fusion. Freedom Scientific Blog News from the Cutting Edge of Assistive Technology. So all the blogs now will um, have to do with Fusion. So let's see if we can get to the Fu main region. Visited link. Navigation re Same page link. Expand search form. Heading level three categories. Main region. Uh, now there should be a list of blog posts. Heading level one category colon Fusion. Article. Heading level two link join us for exploring the Edge Chromium browser with JAWS. Link Elizabeth Whitaker. Are you new to the Microsoft Edge Chromium web? Link read more join us for exploring the Edge Chromium browser with JAWS article. Air. Links list. You ask. We answer colon four questions about transitioning to the Edge Chromium browser. Elizabeth Whitaker. Ah. Introducing JAWS training for teachers and ad instructors. So even though I picked Fusion, um, probably these trainings include both JAWS and Fusion, and that's why uh, they, they put it on here. Uh, honoring Dan Clark and his 25 years of service, uh, of service, what's new in the August Freedom Scientific Software releases? 
So that's the, you can see that the blog is more of an advertising thing. Ah, uh, join us for FS Open Line. Now, FS Open Line is something that happens once a month, and it's a Zoom call, and you can, you can dial in, you can ask questions, and they'll answer your question. So that's pretty good. Um, let's see. Rick? Uh, don't miss out. Yes. Um, in order to um, get that FS open, um, would you have to subscribe to it? Like the RSS? You have to subscribe to the blog. You have to subscribe to the blog, okay. And on this page, there should be... Escape. There should be a subscribe. Fusion. Um, because the open line is an open invitation. They just give you the phone number and the link. And you, it's like a Zoom call. Um, so let me see if there's a, there's a subscribe thing on here. Jaws find dialogue. Subscribe. Enter. Link subscribe to this blog via RSS. There's a, there's a subscribe to the blog via RSS. Heading level 3 subscribe to blog via email. And then you can do it with, with email. And they, the blog uh, comes out once every week or two. Um, so uh, it, it'll basically give you a heads up on... Uh, and it's short. These are short things. The, pot, the FS cast is an hour long. It's a, like a broadcast. But the blog is just that you're going to get a little, you know, five or less than five minutes of reading about what's yeah. going on. The other question I have, um, Rick, it was um, just to review, um, you, you hit the context menu by insert J, then you hit H for help, and then you hit R to find the internet. It's, well, it's web resources, and the R is... Web resources, okay. Now, the thing about JAWS is if you, if you do insert J, and you have JAWS in your system tray, you'll get the, mm -hmm. you'll get the menu, and you'll only have to hit H for help. If you okay. don't have JAWS in the system tray, and you hit insert J, um, it'll say JAWS professional, and you have to hit Alt-H for help. That's what uh, I know. Okay. Well, and then you are for web resources, and all these, and you just have to use your, your up and down arrow key, and you have a list mm -hmm. of all the web resources. Yeah. So, yeah, and they're very useful. I, I use them all the time for myself. So we have about five minutes, so I think I've exhausted um, all of the training. Uh, there's also, besides the Freedom Scientific Training Podcast, there's an FS Cast podcast, so if you subscribe to that, then you'll get your pod, you'll get the podcast on your phone. Now, is that the one that has the monthly? The monthly one is that the same? The one that they yeah, that's monthly? called that's called FS Cast. Okay, that's the and one that's, that just came up on Alexa, right? That I had. Yes. Yes. Okay. And is that um, an app on your iPhone? Mm -hmm. No, it's a, it's, a, it's a podcast. So whatever you use as a podcaster, oh okay. Uh, Apple has a podcast as a native app on the phone. Right. So you can go in there and just hit the add button and then do a search for FS Cast, or you can do a search for Freedom Scientific. Okay, good. And, and you'll and you'll be able to subscribe that way. Mm -hmm. And then they notify you when you have a um, podcast there. Correct. If you're not, if you if you let if, if you subscribe to it, are on. Yeah, and if you allow notifications, right. So I don't. I think I've exhausted um, all of the training um, opportunities. Uh, I didn't show you the training mm -hmm. download page, but if you go there, as I said, you'll see probably twenty uh, FS uh, reader Daisy, uh, Daisy books that you can install about advanced JAWS features. So you need to learn the basics first. So Do we have any other questions for Rick? Anyone? <clears throat> There's a lot of information. Yeah, great job, Rick. I want to thank everybody um, for allowing me to provide this information. And um, there will be a lot of these links will be posted on 
Facebook, so you can uh, take advantage of them right from the Facebook page. I have a quick question. What was the name of the podcast besides Freedom Scientific? What's the other one? It's called Freedom Scientific Training. And what's the other one? FS Cast. And like FX. You know, no, F -S. Freedom Scientific, like F for Freedom and S for Scientific. Uh, thank you. That's what I want to know. Thank you. All right. right. Thank you. This was very informative. So thank you, Rick, for educating us all about fusion. Tonight we learned about fusion, why and when you would need fusion. And then we learned about the many voices of JAWS. They call fusion ultimately the accessibility tool combining two of the best vision accessibility tools available, the Zoom Text Magnifier Reader and JAWS for Windows Screen Reader into a single installation. So as we learn from Rick, the YouTube channels, the JAWS webinars, the training resources, and Freedom Scientific website, they offer you so much to continue your learning and help you with Fusion and JAWS. And don't forget the Freedom Scientific podcast. So please thank you for joining Tech Talks. And Rick, okay. I want to thank you for being with us again. FS Reader that meeting controls all desk Zoom meeting. I just uh, stopped uh, screen sharing. Yeah, I let that happen. Um, thank you for joining Tech Talks, hosted by Vision Loss Alliance of New Jersey. You can contact our organization with any questions that you may have or to learn more about other programs. 973-627-0055 is the phone number for the Vision Loss Alliance main office. Next month, iOS 14. Stay tuned for your <laughs> Tech Talks on Wednesday, October 28th, 2020 at 7 o'clock p.m. So good night, all. And good Have night. a good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night